Italiano. We is in Venice. We is in Venice. Right. Easy, we didn't even get a stamp on the passport. There was no immigration control whatsoever. Wandered through the non-declare because we don't have anything to declare. And <clears throat> probably wouldn't have mattered if we did, yes, but we don't have anything to declare. So anyway, so Abby's flight is delayed. I think Mary right. is still in the lair. She must still be in the air. So that's alright, so we're gonna look for some food. Do some shopping, get some Italian clothes. No. Oh, yup. Yes, right. Okay. Italian clothes. Here we come. I have to get my fez out so it's all ready for when Abby comes out the door. Right. Very good. Here we are, Venice. So just waiting for the in-laws and the daughter. And that we can go. Venice, here we come. So we found one girl, we actually found her a wee while ago. Hello. We're just waiting for Nan now. Taking forever. She is taking forever. We may have a slight problem. <laughs> they didn't go and have their passports checked. We didn't get our passports checked. <laughs> We're illegal immigrants. We are illegal immigrants. We walked through. We didn't actually see anywhere that you could actually have your passports checked. But apparently Abby did, so... It um, was really straightforward, I don't know yeah, how they really missed it. Really straightforward. Maybe they dropped us at a different bus. Maybe they did, yes, I don't know. So anyway, we may be illegal immigrants into the countries, which may make things a bit difficult trying to get out again in a couple of days' time. They might ask the question, how do we get in if we don't have any record? Anyway, we're going to ask someone. We're going to see what happens with Mary, whether she actually gets the passport control thing or not. Um, Yes, we don't even know that she got on the plane yet. <laughs> Seems to be lots of people coming out, so anyway, we'll see whether we have to do the whole process all over again. Long lost briefing number two. Right, so it's problem solved. Mary had to have her passport checked, but it seems that because we came from Greece, which is part of the EU, we didn't have to do that. Whereas the others came from Dubai and England, they did. No, Stockholm, England, sorry. Abby came from London. Cheapest, where the hell did she come from? London. So yes, so anyway, that's what the story is. So, we're not illegal immigrants after all. Cool, go the EU. And surprisingly enough, <coughs> water. This is just the entrance way. Right. Apparently we can sit on the toilet and look at the canal. How exciting. It's all very old wooden stuff. And we can sit on the toilet and look at the canal. Very musty looking canal. Very stagnant smelling canal. 
there we go then. Abby and I are exploring. We're in the um, St. Mark Square. St. Mark Square. San Marco Square. San Marcos. With a big ass church behind us there. A basilica. A basilica. <laughs> and a museum over here. So we're going to go to look at some art. Academicura art. <laughs> By the looks of things. Well, that's what it looks like from the Italian words. So, yes. The square's not actually too bad at the moment, although over by the Basilica was obviously busier because we ended up going over there on the way to the hotel. They are filming. <laughs> They're filming us and we're filming them. <laughs> Maybe I should copyright my vlog <clears throat> and they have to pay me. Oops, these people are taking photos as well. Lots of people with cameras out so we don't look so conspicuous now. Oh look, he's now swinging her in and slapping her on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I don't think I'll be doing that. <laughs> right, awesome. Very cool. Ah, uh, well, here we are. We're off day one, Venice. Well, day two, technically. Uh. Fashion, apparently. <laughs> I'm gathering you're going to have to wear something underneath that. Does have a nice boob hole. We just walked past the fashion district, Prada and Louis Vuitton and Gucci and what have you. Gucci. Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. Prada. See, because I buy Gucci all the time. Versace. Versace. Ah. Meiji. Right, I'm so with the uh, high class fashions. Yeah. Yeah. Impressive flash as buildings. There's a map on the building. Pretty cool. There's another map. Canada. <laughs> Canada. Canada. And another map. Well, there you go. That's helpful, isn't it? just explaining to me about the 3D picture on the roof. She said it comes from Pompeii times when they would draw these things on the roof or paint them as the case may be to make the houses look bigger. So what happens when you take a classic student to a place like Venice. She gives you all sorts of interesting stuff. We're in Vivaldi's museum by the way. Here we go, 
Ikadikademia de Bel Arti. I'm going to get kicked out of Italy. Check out the freaky ceiling. All the masks and stuff on it. Right, museum. museum. Now that is pretty freaky because it's amazing how you've got these paintings that are like from the 14, 1500s and I know there's cameras and the odd custodian walking around and stuff but you could actually just walk up and like poke your finger at it don't if you really that, were that though. way inclined to don't, ruin don't do it. 600 years worth of Would history. Would not recommend. No. <laughs> might get ourselves kicked out of Italy but it's just amazing you've got paintings from like 14 1400s 1500s it's just crazy anyway we're off to find some food we're gonna head off to the Rialto which is where um, Mel and Mary are going to meet us I'm just filming the person dressed up in the olden day gear with a cell phone. <laughs> right, off to get some food. This will be the basilica that Abby wanted to see. We're going to get our church on. church that we can't seem to find and I've gone very European with my scarf and then we found these which Mary didn't she didn't think. believe me I told her it was chocolate and she didn't believe her so they are chocolate <laughs> St. Marco Square at night. Every year. Lots of lights. Thank <laughs> you.